everybody, it's your boy the Slab Train. Welcome back, guys. This is a Forza Motorsport 5, and today we're going to be doing some freestyle drifting right now. And essentially what this is going to be is we're going to be buying a car, and for today's episode, we're going to be purchasing the 71 Mustang Mach 1. Now, this is the brand new car from the newest car pack that they unreeled, um, I think, what was that, a couple days ago when they brought out Road America. So, this Mustang, um, I believe this was in Forza Horizon, this one. It's a little bit different than the 69. But the 71, though, is mint. I absolutely love this car. I love every little bit about it. This thing's rocking a 7 liter. Oh, my goodness, gentlemen. 376 horsepower right out of the gate. So, let's pick this up. It's not bad. It's only $44,000. And, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd buy it for that much. Oh, my jeez, man. I wish I had that kind of cash. All right. So, here we go. We're going to pick a color on this. Um... Hmm, I love doing manufacturer colors for these old cars, man. They just have, you know, they have such a, vi a wide variety of just really just mint, beautiful colors that you would never find on any other car. And that's why I love the these colors right here. I think I'm going to go with this little kind of yellow. It's not really like a yellow. It's not like a mustard or anything like that. But it, it looks like a very nice, sophisticated, you know, elegant yellow. That's... That's the way that I'm looking at it. I mean, that's just me, though. I don't, I don't know about you guys. Your 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Oh, appreciate it, girl. All right, so we are going to be doing our picture-in-picture picture with this. We're also going to be playing online with the crew. Um, we're just going to be doing our little build right here, doing a little test drive, and then getting down and dirty with some tandem live comm sessions here. So right away, let's see what we can do on this thing. Probably not a hell of a lot. We can put on a front bumper covering up the lights, but I don't want to do that. Um... Do I want the spoiler? I think everybody is probably saying no spoiler right now, so I'm probably not going to do it. You guys gave me hell on my Chevelle build, man. I don't know why you guys don't like those damn spoilers, though. That's nice. I like that a little bit. Not. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Come on now. What do you think I look like? All right, engine swaps here. What can we do with this? We can put in the 5.7 V8. I don't think I'm about that. And the racing engine. We're going to stick with our 7 liter on this, man. This thing is a absolute... Monster man, love this damn engine right here. Okay, so we're gonna put on the supercharger with this. And my goal for this is to have a really high horsepower. Obviously, we are gonna be running the test track on this, so this is gonna need you know a very high horsepower, able to be controlled underneath high circumstances at high speed. So, we're gonna be throwing on the sport tires for this build. I usually don't put on sport tires, but I think for this though, it's gonna be nice to get some grip as well as you know being able to hold. 345s on this thing are humongous. Jeez, man. We're going to throw on some 315 so we can at least get somewhere sideways. Thing's just one big damn block of rubber. Jeez, man. It's like a big thing old cheese. Ooh, I could go for some cheese right now, though. I'll tell you that. Love some cheese right now. A little sliced up and shit. Damn, man. Come on now. All right. So, nice little trick here that actually Legend told me about was to do the auto upgrade for your car. And you do that right away. It's going to cost a little bit of money. But however, though, it's going to put everything in your car. So, you can essentially just take parts out. Makes builds go by a lot quicker. So, you're not having to you know go from part to part and install them right away. But, it does not do things like your differential. And it will automatically upgrade your tires back to racing tires if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, oh, we almost bought those. Bring them back to our sport tires, but we have the option to put them back on, you know, if necessary, later on. Now, I think, nope, kept with our proper tire width, so that's good. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so the diff gets changed for some reason. It does not put in the differential. And we are also, I think that, I think we're good on that. I think we have everything installed now that needs to be installed. Um, and we're going to go into our engine and see how much horsepower we're pushing out right now. 700. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't know if this did the supercharger. It definitely did. So, 700 horses, actually, is not bad. It's a full build. So, this thing is completely upgraded, guys. There's no holding back on this damn thing. We're ready to rock and roll. Um, tune on this. We're going to... Probably stick with, you know, the just the regular build that we usually do. We're going to go with a low 26. We're going to bring these gears out just a little bit more. Bring a little bit of camber out, some front toe. And if you guys are kind of curious on what all this the what all these do, look at the side description and it'll actually let you know in in the descriptions 
you know, what every part does. And it really definitely does help um, when you are, you know, circuit racing or drifting to read that stuff and really understand how that works. And, you know, I could go into detail with it. That would be a whole nother video because it is a lot of work to really understand, you know, what everything does. So you may see that in a later video. We're going to go back quickly and paint this throw some i'm thinking some black paint on the rims and these rims got to be bigger though look at how small these things are jeez man we're looking at just rubber right now damn man come on now hope i scared the shit out of somebody though <laughs> sorry about that my bad all right so facebook not now okay not now please i ain't about that life People be tripping when I hear Facebook notifications. They be getting crazy, though. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of time. Oh, my goodness. We do 20s on this thing? You guys down for some 19s? Not. I ain't about those 19-inch. We're going to go 17s on this, though. Keep it classy. Tires on this must be damn expensive. Look at that. $1,800 to increase those rims. Woo! Damn, man. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little test drive, and I'll see you guys back in here for the live comm session drift tandem freestyle on the test track so thank you guys very much for sticking around give me one second i'll see you guys in the jiffy though this thing's a boat skate, skate. guys aren't ready though got the viper oh my Are god you, like, I'm slaloming that shit with you, yo. We're gonna take gold medals at the Olympics this year. <laughs> Not only helping everybody else. Huh? What you got up there? Oh, I got a wall tap. Oh my god. This thing is so unpredictable. Yeah, we might just hit that. Oh, I didn't even hit the pole. Oh my goodness. Yo, what's good though? I need Big Bertha right here. I'm cutting it in. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, shit. I'm still good though. Give me some money. This thing's like 5,000 pounds, 4,000 pounds. Maybe not that heavy, but you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Ah! He's not wanting to straight up on that. We're going high right now. Okay, you're going higher. I just heard, like, metal <laughs> scrape. Uh-huh. That was a freaking noise. Oh my! Pull it! Oh man, this thing just ate that shit though. We got four minutes of solid runs right here. Man, overall though, like I love this car, man. I just gotta fine tune it a little bit. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Taking out all these little uh, markings for the planes, they ain't gonna be able to land. Look at that. That's three right there. Let me get this one too to. Oh! You better hold that, bitch. Yes! Oh, what's good, Ledge? Let's go. Hey. And let's grab that truck. You won't jump drift this with me. This thing is just whining right now to me. Woo! Oh! I think just automatically switched back to my uh, original FaceTime camera. That was messed up. Let's go, though. Way overshot that. Never mind. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was beauty. I'm going towards the cargo uh, boxes if you guys want to join me. Huh. Not too bad. Uh, not that bad on tune. What's good? Not have bad things on tune. Oh, yours is untuned? Yeah. You crazy, bro. Yeah, I know. Alright. Where are you guys at? Let's go. Follow these lines, though. Talk will be like, nah, I'm going the other way, bitch. So is Legend. What line is that? I don't know. I just want to stick with, man. You know what I'm saying? Go that way. Right? Like, what the hell? I don't know, man. I'm just freestyling it. <laughs> Name it a game, you know what I'm saying? I got it. I'm yeah, hiding. Bro. I'm hiding. <laughs> this is going to oh be some epic God. stuff right here if I can pull this off. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Alrighty, gentlemen, so overall, I'd have to give the Mustang probably about, maybe about a 7 out of 10 on this build. Really, I feel that the front tires were a little bit too thick, as well as the rears, just could not loosen up that front end. So I may fine-tune it a little bit more, trying to get the best possible uh, tune out of it, but we did increase the camber quite a bit. It was about a 2.3 on the front, maybe a little bit less, I think. But overall, though, I mean, I was happy with it. It just, it's a big car, man. It's a really big car. It's very, very stiff. And you really got to play around with the roll bars and everything else to make everything flow properly. But either way, though, I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys did enjoy this freestyle session. And if you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button as always. It's always appreciated, gentlemen. But thank you guys very much for coming by today. It's your Buddha Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.